Good evening folks, Jan Sverre here again. Um, my latest uh, Myford, uh, this is an ML7 uh, that I have restored and I also tried my best to add some modifications uh, which I will explain. Um, maybe evident here, I mounted a, um, let's say a tool post, uh, not a grinder I would say, but uh, this is of course a wood uh, router or a Makita um, type, uh, but I'm using it for milling uh, and for uh, drilling. Mounted it in a holder in the, uh, the top slide. And of course that's uh, a very easily made um, adapter also. Just uh, a piece of POM or two pieces of POM that I've uh, bolted together started uh, like uh, I, I've, I've experimented on, on some some designs here uh, and then clamped this barrel just down here so I can mount it this way or and this way and of course then the router the other way so it gets in from the sides um, I've adjusted the height so that it, uh, it's on center height now but that's of course uh, possible to adjust uh, or do in another way. This is just my way of doing it. And um, this allows me to, um, um, of course, as I said, to mill and, and uh, drill in the truck or with the, with the workpiece mounted in the truck. And um, then I have also made a uh, division system here where I have um, uh, mounted uh, the back plate uh, or the truck to the back plate with and then drilled some holes and I have divisions for two, three, four, five, six and twelve. Two rows, one with five and the other one with the twelve. I could do one with eight also, uh, see. And uh, very very simple and um, just made a, a um, like a bar sticking out here that comes and, and registers into these holes. So this is stuck there. Then I can just undo the, this again, then rotate to the next hole. So for example, this um, uh, these six slots milled in the, this aluminium here, just for, as a test piece. Um, this also uh, incorporates uh, a couple of other changes. Uh, one being um, I've extended the, um, or covered the barrel of the tailstock here and uh, also then added an ejector. The ejector functions on the tang here and be aware that there are different versions uh, and the different lengths that you can um, purchase. So for example, this one's a little bit longer I made it so that this loses the grip exactly where this uh, barrel meets the tailstock body. Well, on this one needs more force and might need an extension here. These are a little bit different. So just to explain. Um, I, with this uh, covered uh, barrel here you also then uh, well, I think it was a kind of a nuisance to have the, the, the threaded um, barrel uh, end here um, sort of interfering with the, with the action. Very simple mod, I think useful. I also added a, um, a uh, oil light uh, nut. So it's very, very nicely, action, very nice action. Of course, there's no slop anywhere. Uh, then the motor here is a um, three-phase motor, so I run it uh, on a VFD, and it's a, um, a six-pole motor, so it's 950 RPM. So I have to run the VFD at higher uh, frequency. Too much but of course I can get a thousand rpm easily here if I want to and uh, 1200 which is um, the maximum these um, white metal bearings will uh, will tolerate 
that's also uh, I think it runs very very uh, quiet so that it's a nice um, uh, let's say complement to the machine here and on the front side here I have added a um, or replaced uh, the lead screw here and uh, on this side I've added the hand wheel with a needle thrust bearing or a set of needle thrust bearings the lead screw here is actually a piece of um, Acme threaded rod so um, a trapezoidal um, uh, threaded rod uh, with extension sleeves here and uh, of course then to fit uh, the bushings here um, one way of re um, using an old um, bushing here is to of course then if you have this type of design where you have to do the redo the lead screw piece here anyway you can um, uh, increase the diameter let's say half a millimeter so you end up at a little bit higher diameter and then just to resurface the, um, the bronze bearings and then I have um, added a, a cover from uh, a Super 7. A little bit easier than the other one to open and, and uh, close. And then of course here I want to also then um, have a rubber cover which I've on the, done on the other also just mounted loosely here I think so that's my uh, my modified uh, ML7 and uh, of course on this one here I have also then experimented with a um, new type of uh, uh, call it quick change to post system uh, whereas I have made this um, uh, type of um, holders which fits in this case with, uh, with the cheapest possible uh, Braystone carbide from my MyFord or, or similar and then uh, being of similar size I mean one set you don't need to do the, the height adjustment more than once or at, all, or at all which I've done here see a little bit unlucky on this one so I had to shim it but most of these are just to the correct size anyway with the machining of the holders you should accomplish that and these ones are quick change because you can just they are slotted you can just put them in like they and with also a little bit of care you can have them locking uh, to the same position I mean just making them approximate same height anyway these are called quick change because they are very easy to change from one tool to the other. And then you may ask what about the repeatability? Well, on these ones without any guards or any other modification, of course they are not. But you can also add a guard here. In this case I just mill it uh, further down so that these lock into and are um, repeatable. So that's my, uh, my uh, sort of quick change to post system and then um, I also uh, made uh, use of some 16 millimeter tooling again and this is uh, with another type of uh, holder where is it here or clamp normal here just in this case uh, what I had lying around from aluminium and then with a set of 16 millimeter tooling also then no need for any elaborate um, quick change system these are also I can't call it quick change because they are all the same height so you can um, easily just move around from one to the other normal tool would be this one of course this also then fits directly in so this is a standard 
tool clamp made for the boat style tool holders, I guess, originally, but functions all right. And uh, with this uh, 16 mil, I learned that this comes uh, exactly at the uh, center. So this is uh, an ML7, I call it extensively modified, and uh, hopefully then more um, uh, to make it more functional. All these mods and, uh, and well, what I've made here is very simple and uh, within the capacity of, uh, of the, the average modeler and uh, machinist, else I couldn't have done it. So uh, I think it's well worth to, to use some time to, um, for example, and this was a, a nice addition to my, uh, to use on my other lathe where I used that to make this. Um, this back plate with the holes and um, yeah this one also and of course um, I can provide details on how I did that um, in videos I'll post those later okay thanks